What's going on you guys? Welcome back to 3D Print Farm. That's right, a colleague of mine has made a huge chunk of change selling laser engraved coins on Etsy. Today we're going to go over the basics to help you start your custom coin business. Speaking of basics, this is the 3 Plaser EM Smart 25 Watt 2R. We're going to be using this today to help you start your custom coin business. Let's get started. Let me introduce you to the EM Smart Basic 25 Watt 2R. That's a mouthful, you know. Well, this the 2R is this is the rotary tool. The R stands for rotary tool. And it this bolts right here and this plugs in Cable plugs in back here, and you set your software up in EasyCAD, and you adjust this for the size of cylinder, tumblers, mugs, pistol barrels, anything cylindrical. I haven't used this, but it, it seems like it's pretty heavy duty. Um, what I really like about this is that is the look. I mean, I mean, come on. Black and orange, I mean, it's really sleek. It's 12 kilograms, which 27 pounds. It's portable. There's an F theta lens here that is removable. Uh, it's a 110 by 110, I believe. Uh, it has a 200 millimeter Z height and this is one of the tallest ones that they make, uh, one in, in that range of the, the tallest ones they make. The, the laser that I reviewed last year, uh, the EM Smart one, it doesn't have, have quite the Z height. Uh, that's the reason I bought this dude. The sole reason I bought this dude, because I could not use this guy on, this, on the EM Smart one but I could use it on the 25 watt. This is, oh, do you know what this is? I'll give you a guess. This is a frustration headache killer. That's right, this is an XY table. I have not, I did not hear about one of these until a couple of months ago. And this allows you to align an object along the X and Y planes just so slightly, uh, you know, and this is invaluable when you are doing coins. I'm telling you, it's invaluable, and we're going to see in just a moment. All right, before we get started engraving, we are going to need some coin blanks. Now, if you do a search on the internet for coin blanks, you're going to get all kinds of results. First place you'll probably want to go is Amazon. And I don't recommend any of the coin blanks from Amazon simply because they're cheap. And I, not cheap in price, but cheap in quality. Uh, you, this is what's real important to look at. Here is uh, the thickness of the coin. Uh, look how thin they look. Um, this is a uh, kind of a matte finish. Uh, they're not a lot, a lot of them aren't the same size and a lot of them are, it, the edges are funky and y you know, I mean, you get what you pay for. But I found umbury.com. Uh, Cody Umberger is a, a friend of mine. i I buy my all my coin blanks from Cody. Uh, he's got lots and lots and lots of lots of coins, blanks. He's got titanium, stainless steel, cupra nickel, brass, copper, bronze, and the golf ball markers, the 32 millimeter golf ball markers we're going to be doing one in brass and he's very reasonable he's 
there to answer any and all questions I've had about the coins and he's a great designer as well uh, look at some of these see this is his latest I mean this is check that out that is so cool uh, that is uh, I believe it's silver with a bronze insert and he he does amazing amazing work and so you want to buy from a, a reputable dealer that's going to give you a good quality coin blank. Uh, now, I uh, again, you can get your you can get your coins wherever you want, coin blanks wherever you want. Um, I don't get paid for <laughs> I don't get paid for a kickback from Cody, um, but I just highly recommend his his coin blanks. Uh, all right, let's bounce on over into Easy CAD. First thing you'll need to do is measure your coin blank with a caliper. I'm getting 31.86 is the outside diameter of the coin. Now, this is going to be an important circle, and we need to put that in there, 31.86. 31.89, 86. All right, and if the, this is the, the circle property box, and if the bottom number does not jive with the top number, that means your lock is unlocked, and you can barely see that it's unlocked there, but if it is locked, the number that you place in there will appear down there all right so now you need to apply click the apply button and the circle is way up here press C on your keyboard to center it now I need to measure the error compensating groove 28.2 28.2 so I need to draw another circle and I'm going to say it is 28.2. Enter. That's the same as pressing apply and pressing enter on your keyboard. And we need to center that circle. So press C on the keyboard. And voila. Now we have a artist rendition of the diameter and the cheater groove on a coin. Do you see the object list here on the left, upper left hand side? Um, when you highlight it in the object in the list, it selects it on the canvas here. Uh, that's the outside circle. That's the inside circle. Uh, these eyeballs up here if you select an item here and you can also select an item here uh if you, if you this this is a show hide here um this is hide and even though it's listed up here when the eye is closed it will not the laser will not act upon the anything in the object list where the eyeball is closed. Now, let's see. So now we've got the inside compensation circle and we're going to grab some artwork. And I am going to grab a pirate coin and let's see downloads pirate coin where is it at where is it at oh my goodness yep yeah. there it is and this little stray birdie over there and it's all it's all glooped together look it's as, it's as a vector file but no need to worry we are going to ungroup this Make sure and select the vector file. Select ungroup or control U on your keyboard. 
And it turns it into all these different little bitty curves. Look at all the curves. All right. Now, since it is ungrouped, we are going to send this bird out in the ocean. And this is going to be the back side of the coin. And we are going to do Control G or group on the edit. All right, now we're gonna have to do the front side of the coin and Control G. Now look at here, we have two groups, front or back and front and a circle and a hidden circle that still shows up, but doesn't. <laughs> So we need to, we're gonna do the front of the coin and to center something, all you gotta do is click, all you have to do is select it and click C on the keyboard. And I am moving, I'm clicking my mouse button down, um, my scroll wheel down uh, to move around the canvas here. That's so, that, where we go. Now, this is very important because you have to constrain proportions here in order to maintain the integrity of the image. Hold your shift key down and it will automatically center in the middle of that circle. All right. Here we go, and there we go, and it looks like there's a little bit of bleed over there, and we're going to cheat and then just kick it up there like that. All right. Now, you probably want to know why I centered that in the cheater groove. We're just going to call this the cheater groove because it makes our artwork look great in the finished product. So now let's let's do a let's click on the object and the vector and we're going to hatch it. And now check it out. It is going to be engraved just like this. All the white here, or the, the, the clear, is going to show the actual coin, and all the black is going to be the engraving. Now, what if you wanted to change this and you wanted to do the inverse of the image? Let's control Z, and we need to select both the circle, the cheater circle, and the vector graphic. Now watch what happens. Now everything that is black will be engraved. Everything that is white will be raised. So again, to each his own, I think this is gonna look great. I think also this is going to look great and knock yourself out. But we're gonna do this one. So as you can see, when I grouped, actually I hatched that circle with the vector graphic, it sucked up the circle in the object list and it turned it into a hatch. All right, now as you can see this circle is hidden. I am going to light it up and there she is. Now, I need to hide the hatch group and so I can light up this circle and show the light and show this circle on the laser. Let's go do that. All right, we have I cut a focal stick with my 
CO2 laser, and I've named it EM Smart 25. All right. First of all, you need your coin blank. Lay it on your table. Take your focal stick and if it's not tall enough or low enough, adjust, adjust, and that's the right focal distance. You see the flat part of this focal stick? I place it along the flat part of the lens so it just touches the object that I am lasering. So what I do is I try to get it centered up in the red circle. So I'm adjusting my XY table and you see this edge? See this edge here? Let me pull it in. So that's way out. So over here and there. So I just get it to where the laser spills over the side. And it's equal on either side. So I know you guys have been dying to see the store that I've been talking about on Etsy and that I mentioned at the first part of this video, the Third Dimension Company uh, by my friend Chance Lawson. And he's also a uh, an instructor, trainer. Uh, he's taught me everything I know about fiber lasers. And um, yeah, this, this is a great example of what your store needs to look like as you're taking photographs of your work that you should aspire to imitate. Uh, he's using different backgrounds. I mean, these are just common backgrounds, uh, folks. These are pieces of cloth, uh, some outdoors on a this is on an XY table. Um, this is on a sweater, it looks like, or a shirt. This is in his hand. Uh, this, this is a prime example of how you display. I mean, this is like a store, right? I mean, this is how you, you're displaying the merchandise. And I suggest that you look at this and look at examples of Etsy stores and successful Etsy stores and notice how they... Now here's a quick tip. When you take your photograph, you'll want to increase the contrast. You'll want to oversaturate it just a hair and you'll want to increase the sharpness to make your items pop. Once again, thanks for joining us here on 3D Print Farm. If you have any questions, please drop them in the comments below and I will be glad to answer them. If you're looking for a good quality portable laser, 
Three Plazers has got their Black Friday sale going on where you can get this bad boy for 500 bucks off plus free shipping. Remember, Three Plazers is the only authorized dealer of EM Smart Lun lasers in the world. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone, and we'll see you again next time on 3D Print Farm. Bye now.